everyone, my name is Missy. I'm a level three student with Dancing for Him Ministries, and I am so excited to be sharing with you on the spot and in the spirit. This video will have three parts. The first part, I'm going to be sharing with you from the Professional Props and Pageantry book by Pastor Lynn Hayden. I'm going to share with you a little bit about flags, and I'm going to show you some of the flags I have. So I'm just going to share some of the different flags with you. The second part, I'm going to actually explain to you why we use flags and um, how they can be beneficial in our lives and other people's lives as well and share a few stories with you. And then the last part is going to have a separate video of a spontaneous worship dance that I did with flags. The Lord, I was out by the ocean and the Lord had just put on my heart. I kept hearing this song for a couple of days and, and I could just see myself worshiping to it. And God just um, put on my heart to get out and worship. And so I'm going to share that one with you because it was uh, um, something I prayed about. So I will attach that to this video. First, let's start off with uh, some of the first flags that are good for beginners. Um, they have the wooden dowels. And um, you can purchase these at any craft store and just put a piece of material on them. You can sew it right on there if you're a sewer. I'm not. I purchased mine. And uh, those were the first ones I used. However, I don't have those to share with you because uh, as I progressed in my flagging and graduated, I moved on to flex rods. So I passed those down to my daughter. So I don't have those to show you. But I do have some flex rods and also um, some um, different varieties of colors and uh, to share with you. So, and spin flags, uh, those are my newest purchase that I'm still trying to learn. So anyway, that's just um, the variety. They come in a variety of sizes and colors. So I'm gonna share with you first uh, these blue flags that uh, they were one of my very first purchases after the uh, flags with the um, dowel, the wooden dowels. The wooden dowels are great. They keep the flags from getting uh, tangled. So as you progress, then you can move on to the flex flags if you want. But I recommend starting practicing with those. These, uh, God put on my heart uh, to purchase these. I didn't know when he first put it on my heart, but I knew it had something to do with healing and that I was going to use these flags to minister healing over somebody. I did not have a clue that it was going to be my son-in-law who had been in a wheelchair for a while and the doctors weren't sure what was wrong with him, but he could not get up out of that wheelchair. And the Lord put a song of healing on my heart and said, go, go, go minister with these flags. And that's what I did. I went over and um, uh, my other kids and grandkids were there and we prayed and worshiped with the flags and danced over him and some of my other children came and we prayed over him and he was up out of that wheelchair it was a true miracle to see um, glory be to God so these are my healing flags I've also used these several other times as well for healing and then I have uh, these are freedom flags. God had put on my heart one day to uh, just get out and worship freedom over addictions over people. These flags were, these are a different style. Those are both flex rod flags and these are the angel flags. Uh, I'll stand back a little bit so you can see them. God had uh, put these colors on my heart and it was before I was taking an evangelism trip out to Texas and I had no idea uh, what they were going to be used for, but I worshiped in several different areas. Uh, they are also a little heavier and uh, they have um, two layers to them. So you could get different layers of flags as well. Um, and then these are my newest flags. Uh, the flags that I'm going to uh, be using uh, in my dance are a longer uh, flag, but these are the spin flags, which I'm still trying to learn. They're weighted at the ends, but there's no rods. There's nothing in them, and these are just gorgeous and amazing, but I'm still trying to learn how to spin them, and, um, you know, they do all kinds of neat things, so these are becoming a favorite for me. They do take a little bit more strength in the arms, which I have trouble with since my um, injuries and stuff. And then these are my Jesus flags. So you can also find flags and they have a thinner 
uh, flex rod in them. But you can get flags with uh, writing on them as well. So I hope you um, enjoyed the demonstration of some of the flags. Now I'm going to share with you why we use flags. Uh, and this is shared out of... Um, part of Pastor Lynn's book as well. Flags can change the atmosphere. Just like I shared with you, I, I went in and changed, you know, the atmosphere by worshiping with the flags, ushering the presence of God in. It can shift an atmosphere um, when we use those flags. So, and flags and banners have been used for centuries to identify tribes as in the wilderness for the tribes of Israel, to mark territory or boundaries, Flags were used to signal battlefield movements and to signal messages between ships. Flags were also used in war to judge the direction and velocity of the wind. Even today, sports announcers and players will look to the flags and banners flying over a stadium to see which way the wind is blowing. Flags in worship for us can give honor. They can be used to give honor. When we wave our instrument, we minister in love to our king and proclaim the magnificence of who he is. We declare a name and aspect of God's character. We also use flags to usher in, as I said, the presence of God. Lifting flags in worship is symbolic of the action of Moses as he lifted his rod um, the symbol of a flag and a visible sign of God's presence, power, and authority over the enemy. So won't you lift your flags today? Don't be afraid. Give it a try and worship the Lord. Give him the, the honor and the glory that he deserves. Now I'm going to be sharing with you a worship dance that I did out on the ocean. I'm attaching it to this video. So God bless you. And I pray it ministers to you as much as it did to me. Until we meet again, friends.